There are introverted cars and extroverted cars, and then there's this thing. I'm Ben Sloss, and this is my Viper ACR. By day, I'm a technology executive working at Google, and on the weekends, I'm a race car driver. The whole technology scene in Silicon Valley is you know, very focused on innovation and what's possible to do with computers and how computers can, can change people's life for the better. And then there's this whole subculture, which I find at all of the major technology companies, where there's a group of people who are really into high-performance driving. Well, this being the first day I've had the Viper out, you know, I'll have to see how much speed I can carry between turns five and six because of the noise restriction. So in realistic terms, what that means to me is I want to see if I can get into the 36s today with the noise restriction. I got worried looks in the rearview mirror because <laughs> you just sort of show up behind them and then you know, they're like, go there, go there, <laughs> please. I think the second or third lap you'll hear me on the video going, what have they built? <laughs> like, this is nuts. It is clearly the fastest streetcar I've ever driven uh, by far. Um, and I think as I get used to it, it's going to be even faster. I think I fared fairly well. You know, I, we, we ended up what running a, a high 34 is what I heard. The next fastest time I think I've ever turned in a streetcar under a million dollars was a 143. So it's, it's, it's gargantuanly faster than anything I've driven. This car, its principal goal is to provide, you know, an extremely high performance car that still can be driven, you know, comfortably on the street. Yesterday afternoon I was setting my best time of the weekend and this morning we're commuting into work. This car tempts you to do stuff that, that you know, isn't always advisable, right? You can take that corner faster. Really, really, it's okay. I got this. All right? You know, hey, look at that. It's a straightaway. Go for it. You know, anytime you have a, a car with this much capability, you're always tempted to use it. And it's not always prudent when you're on the street, too, but of course, when you're on the track, that's the point. Was it somebody once said, you know, that only in racing are you alive, everything else is just waiting? So I'm like, yeah, I can see that. This car basically is waiting for the next track day at this point. <laughs> <laughs>